What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be making a lipless crankbait. I would, I already cut out the shape here, this is what it's looking like. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of the drummel, and then I'll catch you back up after that. Alright guys, so I just finished uh, using the Dremel on this, something pretty good. I like the shape a lot, it turned out pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's it's much smaller actually compared to my last video, the uh, Lopez Jerkbait. If you have not seen that video already, go check it out after this video if you're interested. But, um, so I'd mention that. And next step is sanding, a lot more sanding, uh, get all these edges out, uh, make sure, make it look natural and uh, clean. But then, uh, I also thought I'd mention, I got some holographic paper for Christmas. So I'm going to use that on the lure itself. Probably going to do some stripes along the sides. Uh, and then, um, uh, like, put the holograph paper all along here. And uh, I think it'll make it look really cool. And um, catch you up after the sanding. All right, guys, so I just finished sanding. Uh, looking pretty good. I, I love the shape. Um, it kind of has a natural bend in it, which is going to make the action uh, look pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing that in the summer. And um, uh, next step is to add the line ties, uh, hook hangers, and also uh, the weights in the bottom, the split shots, and add the baking soda and super glue. Um, I'm not going to film that this time since I already have in the uh, previous videos. I'm just going to uh, time lapse that. But if you want to see it more in depth, on how to do uh, that and add all the uh, the hardware and everything into the lure. Uh, check out my previous video uh, on making a lipless drip bait. All right guys, I just finished adding all the line ties and hook hangers. Now it's time to add all the weights. And uh, since it's a crankbait, uh, I want to add just, uh, I put some X's here. I'm going to put some uh, weights in front and behind of the bottom hook hanger. I want more weight in the front, so that way whenever I reel in, uh, it'll be tilted this way and then it can dive a little bit, even though it doesn't have a uh, Lexi polycarbonate or just any strong plastic lip. Uh, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to find some scraps or be able to get some uh, of that plastic. But uh, so far, this is what I'm working with, and... Uh, I'll catch you up after I have all the weights in. Alright, and just like that, we have a weighted uh, lure with uh, all the hook hangers and line ties. But now I just have to sand off the bottom with the baking soda, and if you notice in the time lapse there, uh, I dropped my, <laughs> I dropped the lure by accident, because, uh, basically if the super glue, and you see here, the super glue ran down the side, and went onto the vise, um, if that glue's in there, it's gonna be really rough to get out, so, uh, I tried to move it quick, but I accidentally dropped it, but it'll be fine, it's all good, looking well, um, I never, uh, sand it fully, uh, uh, before I use the vise because uh, I know that the vise is going to make like different cuts in it and stuff because it has to apply pressure to it. So now it's just going to be a lot more sanding and uh, some drumming, and then I'll catch you guys up after I'm done. Alright guys, just finished sanding the bottom. Uh, if you didn't know the baking soda, that's what this stuff is. Uh, baking soda, and then the super glue, uh, thin super glue works great, um, it's kind of like liquidy, uh, but, um, it works great to just cover up the lead holes, if you're a bait maker, I, I, I think it's a very good idea to invest in that, because, um, uh, makes your finish look much better, uh, with the bottom, uh, like, here, I should have done some more sanding on the past video, like, there's some gunk there, but you can't even tell that there was, uh, weights down here, so, that's also a, uh, very good reason to use the super glue but now basically just cleaning up the line ties because i use gorilla glue and that stuff expands so uh you want to make sure that 
uh, you always clean out your hook hangers and everything. But um, other than that, there's just going to be a lot of sanding. And then uh, make sure you tune in for uh, part two of this because that's when I'm going to be using this really cool holographic paper to uh, uh, finish the outside and also be painting it. Uh, there's going to be no carvings on this. I'm not going to have to add anything. But um, also, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, in the future, hopefully I'll be able to upload this weekend. Maybe not. But uh, in the future, I'm, I'm working on this really cool lure. Uh, I think you guys will be really interested in, but uh, make sure to go check that out. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload that in the near future, but thanks for watching and see you in the next one.